What's up, guys? This is Sean Dan, and welcome to another episode of the interview sessions. And for this episode, it's very, very interesting because we kind of had conversations before, and this happened when I was trying to renew my fire insurance. Apparently, there's way more things than just fire insurance now. There's home insurance, and it's really creative right now where if you're a landlord you get to protect your property then if you're a family guy right there's accidental damage that you can ex- extra claim and things like that but a lot of people don't even know what they are paying for just because things are mandatory when you take up a loan it attached itself in that whole chunk of files right it will be one of the slots that you need to pay for this insurance and i think the entire objective for this guests to come and to show is to really share like what is their main difference as their product and i think it's because it's cheaper it's more diverse so this guy is mr steven right we haven't really met a lot of times but i really worked quite a long time with their team and i kind of feel the vibe for it so it's very interesting to see how and what they are trying to solve using this home easy product enjoy so mr steven wong Thank you yep. so much for doing this. Um, I know it's been very busy, so we are doing this at night. So if you're watching this, we're doing this at eight-ish, so right after dinner. <laughs> sure, sure. Because, yeah, so thank you so much for doing this. Um, so this is really an episode in continuation for the previous episode regarding insurance, right? Insurance, I realized that the audience know that it's important, but they don't really have interest in it because it's not as sexy as architecture is not as interesting as rental returns and things like that so therefore i got in an expert to really just bring us through what was the true development of that scheme right and before that uh, mr steven maybe you can self introduce a little bit okay uh, a very brief introduction about myself uh, my name is steven i'm actually uh, with chill protect major like, for two years uh, I'm in charge of uh, product development and uh, management. So across the team protect and uh, DPM. So that's um, I'm in charge of the uh, product uh, development. So the this new um, home easy um, product, right? Was it developed by your team? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So so the idea, the idea is uh, from the conceptual uh, right to the implementation. My team actually involved. Uh, a lot. Uh, I think we are the one actually uh, uh, came out of the idea and mm. also uh, 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 you know, right to the market uh, 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 implement it uh, and, 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 and uh, you know, uh, put, it, put it up to the market. So, mm. of course, we, we work very closely with other teams as well but uh, the, the idea itself actually came from my team. Cool. So, so um, don't mind me asking, right? Um, how did you end up in an insurance company? <laughs> Good question. Good question. I think I think you probably you probably should start uh, asking uh, how did I end up with product development? Now? So to be honest to you, uh, I started my career uh, 15, more than fifteen years ago. Like. My first mm. uh, my first job was uh, in an insurance company. And at uh, that time I was uh, a technical person. A uh. technical person means uh, I'm actually a IT guy, mm. uh, you know, a, a typical programmer just sitting in front of a computer doing a day-to-day programming. Uh, that's my first job uh, for almost uh, six and a half years. So uh, I think for product uh, product development experience, uh, this actually came to me is about uh, probably six to seven years ago. I, I, I joined this uh, product development and I mm. find it's, it's interesting as compared to, you know, day-to-day uh, IT job is quite routine and product development you is 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 very interesting. So, so when we talk is, about uh, when we talk about products, right? What kind of products do you mean here? Yeah, insurance product. Insurance product. So it's like the new format of life insurance, for example, or yeah, we are in general. So so what whatever we develop here is uh, actually a general or ge- general insurance lah. Mm. Yeah. And, okay. Don't mind me asking, right? So what's the difference between general insurance and <laughs> those kind of things? So we just sort of as if, right, I'm a newbie. I have absolutely no clue, right? So the only reason like, I buy insurance because it's required. <laughs> it's not something that I actively go and seek information from. So since you're here, right, 
like like what's what's general insurance so, so then we can actually scale that down into the home insurance that we're going to talk about later mm. okay i think if you have to answer a question uh the difference uh, between life and general mm. uh, i think putting in layman terms uh, life is basically covering the people itself whereas mm. uh general insurance is uh is 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 we have a wide uh, spectrum of the category where mm. you know home is just one of it mm. then we have this uh motto okay. uh, then we have uh, uh this marine car marine insurance we have uh, engineering those are more on the commercial line but mm. you're talking, talking about personal line is motto home personal accident these are deemed as a general insurance i see i see so when you got into this home insurance right like your team when they were developing this new product, what was the core problem that you guys wanted to solve? Yeah, I think uh, is yeah you 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 got to you actually spot on. Uh. So the core uh, uh the, we are actually looking at the customer pain point the first mm. thing. So I can um give you three points here. Uh, okay. Very important that uh, this product how how uh why you started uh, this project. So mm. I think the first point is that, uh, you know, um, we want to create awareness to people, especially for the home owner, right? Or the property mm. buyer. Mm. That uh, insurance, home insurance is equally important to your home property. You know, probably in your life, uh, the whole life, uh, property is one of the most valuable items you have purchased. I would say to most of the people. Uh. So mm. the insurance is actually to protect the the home itself. Why not? Why? So so why not you actually uh, uh think about it? If you have a most valuable item in your life, then mm. you 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 of course you you need to think about how to protect it uh in mm. the event of a misfortune. So okay. that's 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 the first point. Then second thing we we want to correct the misconception of people of having you know home insurance. Uh, it's it's quite quite common that people achieve uh when they are taking this uh housing loan mm. uh, we, we did a bit of a, a focus group uh, 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 and find out that people think that they, they must buy the insurance home insurance or, or fire insurance from bank rather than that you can do a self arranged insurance so yes. this is the second second point mm. okay and the third, third point is that what, what, what we are trying to do is that because we want the, our customer to save money so okay. uh, giving that's you good. an example, uh, there's, there's one of the good um, and, and it becomes our uh, unique selling uh, proposition of this product mm. because we are we, we, we market it as the cheapest in the market, a lowest price guarantee in the market. Uh, mm. and, and of course, we want uh, the customer to save uh, more premium. So okay. these are the three key points that uh, what actually uh, uh, make us uh, that, that this product, uh, we, we think about this product, we develop this product. So, okay, so let's say if today, if I were to buy a property, I get a housing loan, right? It's almost by default, it's almost automatic that there will be a home insurance attached with the loan, right? That is quite, uh, uh, yes, yes, you are right. So, so I mean, the banker will just, uh, uh, by, you know, when they ask you to sign agreement date, because they have this uh, bank, bank assurance uh, attached mm. to it, so they will promote this home insurance together. Lah. So it, it, gets, it normally come together when they sign. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So like when I was signing like Bank Harimau or Bank Sotong or whatever, right? Then suddenly like, wait, what is this? And I, I've set up a video on like hidden costs before. The only insurance that always comes to mind is the MLTA, MRTA thing, right? And that is a bit more action that there. So there's a lot of coverage about that property, that topic actually. But we talk about home insurance, right? Fire insurance to be in an older term, right? I think last time when I was I came across this is when I was selling properties in Sungai Bulo. So okay. <laughs> Sungai Bulo is a they call it black area, like Hakoi, uh, where okay. <laughs> it's always fire. Now we all know why, but then the reason is then this comes very familiar to me, but I have never come across like how much am I paying per year? So on average, I've checked it's like a few hundred bucks, uh, right? Per year. So so yes, yes. Uh, on average, depending on the, the no, no, no. Uh, yeah. some, no, 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 some insured. No, no. 
some I'm interest. Sure. Correct, correct, yeah. correct. So, so uh, yeah, typically you're talking about yes in a range of uh, 500 plus minus uh, depending on the uh, uh, how much of some insurance you're insuring. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, after we spoke earlier, like we, I got into the product and to know more because personally, I'm actually today coming as a client. Like I want to renew my license and license, but I want to renew my my insurance, right? To because again, lah, when I come to investment, right, I'm not those that even like uh, cukai tanah, how much cukai pintu, how much actually I don't know. I just settle, settle, settle. So this is one of those, and I think in this extreme economic condition, every penny counts, right? And that few hundred bucks suddenly, if they come at the wrong time, like next month, right? No money to eat really, yeah. Then you still need to pay for insurance, right? Then it's quite jala lah. So, um, let's say if I want to, uh, switch over today. So what should be the main thing? Like, I'm a person who can't even find my fire policy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, okay. Yeah. So so you are talking about switch over process. Mm. So uh yes, so um we, we that's like what I mentioned uh the in the second point, right? We want to correct the misconception of people that insurance you must take it, you must you must buy it from the bank rather than sell a rich. I, I think for for myself, right? I I I did it every every year. So mm. it actually saved me a lot. A lot. It's not. It's not just a lot. You you have to know. I mean, as a consumer, you have to know what they are buying. That's most important. Ooh. Okay. Yep. So so that this this make me uh um besides saving, mm. I know what I'm buying. Mm. Uh, I I it, the, the switch over process is pretty easy. So so uh, it's basically you just need to inform your party the the bank side or actually to uh you know uh uh uh. Uh, bank bank check bank type assurance channel mm-hmm. or if the bank side to inform that uh okay uh to, to, to so and so that please do not um uh, renew my insurance mm-hmm. on behalf so I will do my own uh, uh insure I will do myself a range of insurance so uh what you basically need to do after informing that uh they will you will need to you will do a self arranged insurance you basically need to send them a policy. Mm. Just the policy once you actually purchase from, for example, from Tune, you just, you just need to send them a policy to to for them to acknowledge. So so the first thing is let's just inform them that you 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 need you do a self arrange return. Second thing is you send them the policy after you have purchased. Then they still waiting for them to acknowledge. This this how simple it is. So it means that they need my policy so they can cancel. Okay, so in the event they, they renew a policy, you know, sometimes uh, the, the bank is a bit uh, more aggressive. Yeah, yep. uh, understood. So, understood. so mm-hmm. probably they, they, they actually renew in uh, two months in advance. So, so, yes, so you can actually ask for cancellation because the, the, the policy is not uh, uh, incepted, so to speak. So you can mm-hmm. actually ask for cancellation. <coughs> uh, but right before the, the policy, uh, uh, you know, the uh, uh, the uh, renewal date uh, going to expire, you can send them your, your own uh, policy, like the home or fire children policy. I see, I see. <clears throat> and I think something for the audience to know as well is um, this only applies if you are living in a individual titled house, right? Individual title as in you are talking about probably landed lah. Landed yeah, land. So that's a very there's no individual title towers yeah. I haven't <laughs> seen before. <laughs> Maybe God lah. Maybe I'm going to find. But um, yeah. So you if you see, so it's like individual title terrace houses generally landed houses maybe semi di bungalows cluster whatsoever right. Um, that is because um, this coverage falls under strata. Um, okay. if it's if it's so it's, it falls under the management if it's a strata title, correct? Yep. And so uh, I, mm, yes, go yeah, on. Go ahead. Yeah. So um something also to point out because when I think a lot of people tie this sum insured to the value of the property, I think that is a very big misconception as well. So um <laughs> like the, the terrace house may be two million, right, in a superb location. But actually, if to con- reconstruct it, right, 
construction cost is quite general in the market. Right? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So, so I think uh, maybe you can elaborate further on like, I think you have a calculator or something like that to determine, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I will go through detail in the calculator. I will mm -hmm. first answer your question on this, whether home insurance is applicable to landed property and as well as uh, also the non-landed property. Mm -hmm. So those, to me, it would be applicable to both. So, so okay. you, you know, for home insurance, there's a, a still our home easy. Uh, we, we, we are not just protecting the building itself. Uh, we are just protecting the, the home content. Mm. So you know, you know, like what you have mentioned, uh, for those high rise buildings, the fire insurance is normally uh you know normally arranged by the JMD. Yeah. Uh, so so you you don't you probably don't have to uh, have that cover, you have a big basic cover. So yeah. uh the other thing you can look at uh is probably you want to protect your content. So that is also uh that's why I say it's also relevant mm. And for those uh landed property, you can you can achieve protecting your building and also Home content. Okay. So for content wise, right? Like um personally, if I have super valuable stuff, then uh on a normal basis, the insurance company will send somebody to the house to check, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I think this is based on the declaration. It's not they are asking you. So upon the uh, the sales process we see that you need to you have something valuable, mm. we need to declare to the insurance company. Oh, okay. So, so like, okay, this is just a, it might sound silly, la, but if it's valuable in terms of sentimental reasons. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the, the idea is that um, uh, for those uh, valuable items, because they, they, are, they are also a, a restriction uh, for insurance company to, mm. to, to actually insure that in the full value. So you might need to declare that that's, a, that's one of the reasons. Okay. Okay. So so for our our home easy, I think we, we did quite simple. So because we have this uh, uh you know first loss basis cover. So mm. as long as you are you are comfortable with uh, your your home content uh, uh value is around twenty five thousand, you can choose our 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 plan with twenty five thousand. You have forty thousand. You have forty thousand. Then we have fifty thousand plan or so. On. So 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 we, we make it simple uh, rather than say that oh you have to uh, you have to calculate uh, uh, this is your uh, how much mm. worth for the content no so so is that uh, we, we actually okay. uh, offer a first loss and because it's self declared so like the higher the value the higher the premium also ma, right yep so so it's up to you whether you declare high high or not lah hmm okay so okay and then now if I were to switch over um. Then if okay, if the okay, this this is very I, I, I am very confident in our fire safety in Malaysia. <laughs> Actually, okay. Bomba requirements, right? It's one of the worst departments to go through if you're a developer. <laughs> but then, like, okay, let's say fire really do happen, right? I, I what I really like is the extensive coverage that your team has came out with. Lah. So, like, I think. Um, a few things. I think not fire, but I think we, let's talk about fire first. If fire happened, right? If you need to stay somewhere else in the time, meantime, also you guys covered, right? Something like that. Mm, you are talking about the probably the some of the expenses that uh, we will provide from because because in case of fire, mm. uh, then you probably need to uh, find some. Uh, Temporary la, temporary place we stay. No, no, I think I think that is not, not our feature. No, not your one, no, not covered. Okay. So the one that is uh, the next one, not not fire, right? But the one that is I think uh water pipe burst, all these kind of structural items as well. Meaning like yeah. uh, so those are also covered. And uh like when I was reading through the website, then they there's something like not only they cover the repair costs, they also cover the damages costs and they also cover cover the water <laughs> the water bill because of the damage as well. Is that correct? Uh, it's, it's not. Maybe, maybe I give you a, a, a correct perspective. Lah. So mm. I think one of the um, also one of the interesting features I will find lah, this is mm. for my own uh, personal experience uh, like why, why this uh, feature is actually uh, uh, we put it in this product 
Uh, I think they mentioned about water view, uh, the reimbursement of water view like, due to water burst pipe. That's mm. one of the interesting features I, I, I can uh, I think you're referring to. So how 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 this uh, feature is actually came about, uh, like what I mentioned just now is it's from my personal experience. Mm. Uh, you know, um, people always always think about you know home mission is just fire, flood, but never think about that something uh, Happen to them because of you know water burst pipe and their their water bill. I got a sudden uh, surge come to few hundred or even few thousand. Mm. I think this is quite common. Quite com- I will find it quite common for you know especially for the uh, houses uh, for yeah landed houses. 10, 10 years more than yep, ten yep, years. Yep, even yep, the yep. new new house you know uh uh less than ten years this thing will happen. Mm. But, so happened this this thing actually happened to me like during uh you know last year like MCO. So my my it's, a, it's actually my personal own experience and my water view because of water leaking the water view came up to three thousand three thousand for three months. Three thousand <laughs> is a lot yeah, of water, yeah, eh? yeah. yeah, you know you know it's it's because of MCO some uh, the, the, it, there's no water. Uh, you know, there's the, the, there's no people come and, and send you a physical view. Uh, yes. So that's why we, we I didn't notice that until I find out three months later it's about uh three over thousand. So 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 I I am just thinking of it. You know, I when I ask around, uh, apparently uh, uh the the people surrounding me right, uh, mm. this incident happened to them also. So so I'm thinking uh, why not we I put this feature uh to to actually help uh to to you know to to it is a burden now in case of anything that happened to to a uh, homeowner. I'm still very surprised with the amount. 3,000, even <laughs> I think my father's factory also don't use so much. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. So, okay. So if that happens, then you call your insurance guy and then they will, then you yeah. just do the necessary processes, take a picture and stuff like that, right? Correct. Right. So, so, so how we, how we, it's, it's very simple. La. So I think typically for a norm, uh, normal household, right, mm. the water bill uh, for a month is actually about, I would say it's about 20 plus minus. Mm. Yep. So, so, so this is really unusual. La. So, mm. so it's easy to, to justify. To mm. Yeah, correct. Correct. Okay. So another thing I want to cover. So after that water, right, because yeah, because we talk about water, it, it, it's very strong to me because back then, 1995, my house was flooded up to the first story. <laughs> no yeah, so yeah, so that time I was still a kid. So I like when people talk about flood right now, you don't really hear a lot in KL. I think only in KL City, lah, <laughs> you will have flood. But I think in the residential areas, I think the irrigation system is quite advanced. Um so I think the bigger possibility that happens to people will be the pipe leakage and things like that. And uh, that's something to take note. Then the next one will be burglary, right? Mm-hmm. Burglary also can cover or not. Yeah. That's so, a- so, so let me give you a, a, a very brief what is if I think I think this probably need to explain a bit on uh, what is a, a fire insurance as compared mm. to uh, home insurance, like we are saying the house owner insurance. Yep, yep. So, so, so when we did the focus group, right, a lot of people have a misconception about this mm. uh, fire insurance. You know, they, they, when they talk about home insurance, they, they relate this to fire insurance. But okay. from, from insurance guy like me, right, mm. fire insurance is uh, just a fire basic. They, they okay. provide you a fire and lightning cover. Mm. The, the, it's, it, that's a basic uh, fire cover. So, so home insurance is actually beyond that. So the, there's an additional peril like, you know, that flood, uh, burglary, like, we call it theft, of course, mm. with a forcible entry. Mm. Then also explosion, you know, suddenly bomb your, your kitchen because of gas explosion, all this. So, mm. so all these are under uh, uh, home insurance. It's actually uh, 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 much more comprehensive than you, you say uh, fire basic insurance. That's, that's mm. why we say uh, home insurance uh, I mean, from us, we call it house owner. La. So it's, it's wider than a, a standard basic fire insurance. So this is what normally uh, bank will arrange for you because they also want the property to be protected la, for both parties, mm. for the borrower and also for the uh, bank side. So I still, I, I, 
Okay, so I'm I'm stumbling upon because um thank, first of all, thank God you're here. <laughs> so I got so many questions, right? <laughs> then the other one is the the in the letter because now oh, every time when you pay the money, right, in the letter head, right, it's still bracket fire insurance. Right? No matter like how much I pay, right? Like they say like home insurance whatsoever, but then they still bracket fire insurance. But then when you really look into the product, like what they say is like home insurance. But I think um I appreciate that you explain that okay, now this is like water, burglary, and theft and all these kind of things is separate from fire. La. But back then was this product around? I think back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is a standard product uh, for you know for personal fire. Home insurance is uh, actually a standard product. And also the, the fire insurance, the difference that uh, like well, just now I mentioned for fire mm. basic, it just provides you a, a, a peril cover like fire and lightning. Of course, mm. you can you can add on the peril like what I mentioned, you can add on explosion, you can add on uh, flood. But it's just that this house owner is everything in one uh, uh insurance, but it gives you a better oh. rate. Okay. Yeah. So 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 you don't have to, you know, uh I I I, I buy a fire insurance, basic. Then I, I you know I need the explosion, I need the flood, I go and take. But you know, this one actually give you everything at a very uh, mm. uh, uh better rate. I think that is a good point. <laughs> because I think like I still remember my mother complained last time the house was not covered, although they like when you say it's compulsory for to have fire insurance, right? Because flood wasn't a thing yet last time. So um the entire house, right? Unfortunately, whatever furniture we lost or whatever damages, right? We all need to bear ourselves. Lah. And uh luckily we still had um some savings to fix up the house. At least chi mo chi yong, at least it looks back like a house. Lah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, like my the there are certain houses where I think it's like 15, 20 years later, right? There are still effects of the flood to the house. And uh, like for investors, uh, to me, didn't really resonate a lot. But if it's your dream home that you host your family and things like that, then I think it's going to be a big impact, right? Um, therefore, um, I like the, when I look into the website, I like that just how you say you can actually, it's very flexible, but in to that extent, right? Okay, don't mind me asking, like, what are the rates of, uh, what, what's the probability that these kind of things happen? Do you have stats like that, like like explosion, right? Because okay, every time when we buy property, when we buy insurance, right, the mentality is, yeah, won't happen to me one. <laughs> I yeah, don't need to buy one la. But in terms of statistics, right, maybe you can show like if you have la, can you like share like what are the odds that these kind of things really happen to us? Yeah, uh, you're talking about the uh for real like explosion, yes. It, it, it do happen. Uh. So, but the common one of, you know, fire, fire mm. uh, basic fire and also flood is also quite common. Uh. So these are the common, common, uh, and of course the, the tap cover, uh, the degree cover. Okay. So these, so, are, the, mm. uh, these are the common, common per real. Uh. But, but, okay. So like when we say common, right? <laughs> because now like now the, the percentage matters a lot now I think every Malaysian understand percentage better now so do you have like roughly like how many cases of fire in Malaysia do you have stats like that uh, I, I don't have the stat on hand so oh. but but, but uh, uh, I, I can tell you the other the other the other one is that I can think of is not uh, not only the common problem that people need it's also part of the requirement. Like I mentioned, uh, certain depends on bank. I would not say all bank. Mm. Uh, certain bank they will they will require you to cover up to you know all this for you. Uh, uh, they set a minimum. These are the minimum cover. So okay. if you are going to uh, have a lesser than this, probably you will you it, it's not acceptable like by them. Mm. So so two points are is is one thing is actually to cover the misfortune that one. We cannot, we cannot, uh, is we cannot predict like, something that yep, we cannot yep. predict. Then the second thing is, uh, is, is more like a no, uh, certain requirement by imposed by certain men. Yep, yep. Okay. So, so what you're trying to say is that we buy because not only we not because really we want to, right? But sometimes it's a requirement by the banks that is imposed on us, so that if anything happens, like the house not there. But the loan still continues. So a lot of people don't know this. <laughs> like the fire gone, the house gone case really, right? 
the financial loan that you took, you still need to pay back one. Okay. But you, so, you, have, you have no place to stay. Lah. Basically, if you are in case of fire, you go to burn down, then you have to fork out your own, own pocket. I mean, uh, yep. to rebuild the, 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 the house. Lah. Yep. So, so that's one part of it. And that's some, I learned this from my mentor. So she said that uh, when we buy insurance, um, we always say it's expensive. But when we claim at time, we always say that it's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's this very good saying that suddenly I, oh, okay, that's how important insurance is. That it's also to make sure that everyone is protected, like you say. Like if my home is burnt down, I still have some guarantee and the bank still can support you in some ways if you are protected, right? And okay, so when we talk about home, right? Um, okay, I always misunderstand this because we have a product in the makeover, guys, we call Easy Home. So yours is Home Easy. <laughs> so I always mess them up. So, okay, a very direct point, right? How and why are you guys able to provide a better price? Okay. So I think first thing first, lah. so um, we, 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 we got a special, uh, uh, how to say, we got a, a approval granted by regulator lah, that mm. can provide uh, discount up to certain level. Lah. Mm. So, so, you know, these are the, you know, uh, uh, in the uh, uh, tariff uh, context. So that's one of it because of the deprivation, uh, we have opportunity to offer a better rate and mm. wider cover. Mm. Okay, so so uh, uh, then uh, you probably may want to find out uh, then why uh, the other insurer, how about the rate from the other insurer? Right? Yep. So, <laughs> so 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 I think I think uh, uh, I will not say all uh, You know, uh, like what I mentioned, uh, other insurer they can do the same. Mm. But but the discount they are they are they are providing uh uh is not uh, I mean at this juncture I will, I will, I will, I'm sure that they are at a, a, a better position uh, and and offer lower rate as compared to theirs. Mm. And and on top of that because we are home easy you know home easy is one of the uh product we put up online. So on top of discount we got the fifteen percent rebate. Mm. So, so that's why why we got the lowest price guarantee. Uh, okay. It's a combination of a, a discount from mm. the rate, from the tariff rate, and further discount, I'm saying, plus the rebate of 50% rebate. That's how we got the uh, lowest in the market. So cool. So cool. Um, but my concern, right, uh, maybe you can help address them. Um, because there's no agent as per se lah, right there's no when i buy every uh policy there will be a person that to serve and if that person um not retire that person like don't want to do it low already, right then the floor will pass on to the superior and superior superior so um in your case if i'm to buy online right um what would be the arrangement if really something were to happen Okay, let, let me let me ask you one one thing. Mm, mm. Uh, this this I think this are quite a uh, common question. I think mm. today in today's world, uh, everything can be done online easily. Okay, you you know, including the claims, you know, our claim submission uh, can be done mm. online. So I don't see um, why people they are not buying online as compared they buy from you know uh, arranged by certain bank. Mm-hmm. Then maybe I, I want to pose this question to those people like uh you know uh they are they are willing to accept the uh uh, uh insurance arranged by the bank. Let me ask you like if in case of anything happen, who do you call? The bank. <laughs> but then what what bank would do? I mean I mean I mean what what the the, the other side will do? The customer service, right? Then okay, that I think the answer you will get is probably they will ask you to refer to the insurance company. Mm. So so what makes the difference you buy online? Buy hmm, but yeah, but maybe maybe my confusion is regarding um personal insurance and general insurance. I think like if something happened to me and as a from an individual point of view, then it's always emergency, right? Then I can I know who I buy from. 
right? Then I can shoot away. Hey, this one can claim. Uh. But then when it comes to property, right? Hey, now my property on fire. Uh, there's no there's no contact person on my phone that I can immediately, hey, Steven, my house on fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do, bro? So, 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 so I think I think I think to give you give you a, a, a right perspective is yes. So uh and, and then that's the reason why we, like, we launched this product. Uh, we mm. launched it for uh online or B2C. Mm. And also why our agency channel because we, we also see uh, uh you know uh, uh value added uh, service provider yep, yep, uh, yep. the agent can actually uh, wise in the event of that there's, there's any query uh when they come to claim they have they, they know who to look for uh. but but mm. what, what I'm asking you just now is that if they are if, if you are uh just accept a, a insurance arranged by a bank right who do you ask <laughs> you basically you basically you can ask bank but yep. they probably will refer you to the insurance company so yep. it's almost same like what they are, uh, you're buying online so mm, there's, mm. I, I don't see the difference if, if there's if, if there's an agent yes there's, that, there's, a, there's a value in it because the agent can you know can help you to run all this can, can answer your query can yep. probably help you to do a submission of claim and all this but if there's no one then I, I don't see the difference uh. Yep, agreed. So I think what you I think this ties back to one statement that you said just now, right? It's to know and to really be informed on what you are buying. Like I think when it's based on requirements or based on authority that I'm required to buy this policy, right? To in order to have this lower interest rate from this bank, for example. Um, that always happen. Lah. Okay, we all know that. <laughs> Although they say they don't, but I think this happens. So when this happens, right, I choose to be like Takisa. I no longer know what's happened. I to be very honest, so many properties, right? I don't know where are my fire policies. Right? And I don't really know how much I'm paying for them. Like is my JMB overcharging me for the policy? I don't know. <laughs> like for the lender property, uh, what's the annual amount? Until like your team had a conversation with me, I have absolutely no clue how much I'm buying. But once, like today, okay, now, you know what? Because Steven is going to show on this show, right? Show up on this show. <laughs> let me do up some work. Then let me try to submit my case, right? Then finally, like, okay, when you say it's the cheapest, right? And it's a few hundred bucks. I was scared because like, then how much am I paying? <laughs> At least like, 30, 40 percent more than and there's an insurance that then there's an insurance agent that is just taking up without ever needing to see me <laughs> querying. But so when if I were to so again if I were to buy today, the main difference is now I know okay, um I'm gonna protect this, I'm gonna protect this. If anything happened, who should I call? Then suddenly you are aware of the entire process. So I think that is something very, very good. And that's the belief of the channel as well. So <laughs> this is the biggest transition that I think that your product is doing. I think the like the flexibility is awesome. The price is awesome, right? But it gives people that awareness the, from the point number one, right? What am I paying for? Yep. So I think so, this so, is... So, mm. Yeah, to answer you, right? Probably I use, I use that my own experience. Ah. I, mm. I, I also, I, I'm also a home easy policy holder. Mm. Uh, I, I think I'm the uh, first one. Uh, zero, zero, one. <laughs> zero zero one. Yeah. <laughs> so so I'm I'm I'm, waiting. I'm actually waited for so long like right, for this product to launch. Uh, you know I got uh, my own uh, home uh, insurance. Uh, mm. actually due uh in uh uh May la, in uh, uh end of May. Okay. So when this was launched, right, I just give you a a a, a perspective of what is the price difference uh, in terms of mm. price difference. So okay. uh, I I pay seven hundred over. Wow. For my for my policy for my mm. early policy, okay. So for this home easy, I pay three hundred. Wow. For the same for the same amount of submission, okay. Mm. That's that's what I'm. Right? Of course, you know. Uh, how 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 can I do that? Is because of the discount mm. and the rebate. As I I mentioned the the online the direct customer rebate I am getting, and of course I I opt out the coverage that I do not want. 
Uh, mm. For example, yeah, the, 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 you know the existing uh, policy that a bank actually given to me, there's a one uh, per wheel that I feel I do not want it. So mm. I just swap out. So they actually save her, I think all in all, I can say it's like 50 over percent. It's more than 50 percent saving. No wonder the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. I'm so excited my mic fell. <laughs> So, okay, so let's, since we are talking about home easy, right? So, okay, now my favorite question of all to all guests. Um, do you still remember your very first home purchase? Uh, yes, yes. So, it was uh, when I was 25. So, it's, wow. um, so it's more than 10 years ago. I don't know if you <laughs> So, when I was 25, that, that was my first property. And uh, it's the... Uh, a joint name with my wife. La. Oh, okay. Okay. So it was a home. La. So so what kind of home is that? Uh, it's a landed property, double story landed. How much is it? Is it people uh, don't know time, where it is. Mm. Uh, in Subang Jaya. So uh, the time, the market value is about 300 plus. Hmm. <laughs> so now at least, I think now double, la, right? Is it double? The value? Uh, so, no, no, I, I, sold, I sold the house. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay so so okay if you can remember what was the interest rate back then like do you still remember you being an IT tech guy Pro, probably is about six plus that, that time I remember it's quite high it's mm. a, at, at least probably it's a five or six percent yep. not talking about interest, yeah. and, and, and you, know, you know right now it's about three Three over percent. Yeah, my mine just got approved 2.9. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. So um okay, so when you say you share with your wife, right? It was that intentional or because you guys couldn't uh get the loan that you want? Uh it's a intention because we plan to to buy it together. To so X1, one, a, one entity. Yeah. Uh, Correct. So yellow. So yellow, so I think because in the channel I don't encourage people to share name. Um, especially boyfriend and girlfriend. Correct. <laughs> ah, so, that, that one, yeah. yeah. I think so, even, even, even husband and wife, I would encourage, uh, I mean, if possible, like, I mean, if, it, if you can get the loan amount, mm. so, so you can actually purchase under your name. So you have four, four star, like, if you're an investor, you Correct. know what I'm saying. <laughs> yep, yep. So, so the, the limitation of 90, the 90% residential loan margin. Okay. So I think back then, 10 years ago, the IBS was still there, right? Was this new or was this sub sale? Uh, it's a sub sale. Oh. But that this sub sale is a new uh, sub sale. Okay. It's a new property sub sale. And, and were you prepared with all the down payments and things like that back then? Uh, yes, but uh, that time because uh, property is not. Uh, not cheaper as high as, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much cheaper so yes but then income so we, okay so just to bring back people in context right? what, what's your what's your take right when people like youngsters right? like just graduate right? now they always come to me right Sean is it for you la? like now uh, with my current salary uh, in, impossible to buy house one you know but then like when you back when like when okay when you were 25 right I think you also almost start work a few years only, right? Was it easy to buy a house back then? Easy as in uh yeah, getting a loan. I think I think what mm, you're mm. So okay. so I, I don't think there's any different from now. It's just that uh because now property price is much more higher, it could mm. be double or triple higher than those days. So yeah, it it become a bit of challenge uh, so for you to, to fork up the, mm. you know, the the down payment and other expenses as well and also the you know the monthly commitment uh. so so mm. that, that actually pull people down because of uh, uh, the buying to buy the first house then when you when you bought that first property right did it come to you like why don't you go for new property instead like why you go sub sale uh? uh I think it's because of the location. Uh, I like the location and, 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 I, and I personally go uh, brown and this this is the uh, property I've chosen. Uh. So, oh, so, uh, okay. so 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 uh, it's also to, to be honest with you, I'm buying this from a relative. Mm. <laughs> and that explains 
because right the channel there's a lot of uh, first time home buyers and uh, like last time like even my parents then they <clears throat> buying from a developer is actually very scary because the rate of people just like run halfway during construction right it was pretty common back then that's why no one wants to take the risk in buying a first um, property not like now like everybody only buy first hand properties <laughs> who can afford <laughs> down payments some more lawyer fee this fee that fee right now someone got home insurance but well at least got home easy so not so bad lah. but then um, coming back to home easy right is it um, like if I were to buy a new home today right then um, if I just get the keys I can switch already immediately or what would be the what would be the process like? Okay, I think I think when you first uh, uh, sign up a loan, right? Normally, mm. uh, as you know, the, the, the banker will uh, at the same time will give you the the uh, home insurance. Mm, mm. So uh, depending depending on the you know this is how you I heard you mentioned about oh you if when you buy this home insurance or you get you buy MRPA, I give you a better way. Mm. But I think I, I my suggestion to those home buyer is always check. PNP, whether okay. there's a, there's, so there will be a fine line whether there's, 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 there's a there's limit. True or not, yeah, okay. There's true or not, if there's no TNP, by all means, I think you can arrange on even the first Okay, okay. So I should look into my policy to see whether is there a. Yeah, the loan agreement, uh, this is uh, the mm. SMP. Uh, is there a tie in? Uh, right. Uh, the, the, uh, the bank loan agreement. Mm. Yeah, so I think this will be very helpful to a lot of first-time home buyers when they look into loan agreements, right? Like now, if you take MRTA from me, like what you said just now, you get better loan rates. Then if you get home insurance from me as well, then you also get better rates. And I know it's salesmanship, but then like they use the this commission to cover the separate interest. And yeah, so that one... Um, but what I'm saying is that um, it's up to us as consumers to be a better well more um, a more well informed person when we buy stuff so that's the whole point of this episode right and okay so now we have a slot where you can actually push whatever products that you want to push <laughs> so so let's say if I want to um, find out more about home easy right or any other insurance where do I need to go uh, basically uh, you can go to our team protect website there's okay. a home easy page. So uh, there's a lot of information, uh, including, you know, just how we mentioned about switch over guide. We, mm. we, we actually teach, uh, guide you how to uh, switch from, uh, you know, from the bank arranged insurance to your self arranged insurance. Uh. So this mm. switch over guide may, may uh, help a little. Uh, there's a lot of policy information uh, inside the website. So you can actually go to our uh, website. It's, it's, it's Easy and simple uh, uh, to understand. Uh, I think that the way we, the language we put up. Mm. So um, from my personal experience, after doing this for a few days, right before this session, <laughs> so like now I realize that I'm not overpaying, but I'm paying for things that I don't know what is it. That I'm I'm paying for things that I don't need, and uh, there's no options. Like if I were to buy a phone today. I will look into different brands. I will buy a car today, I will look into different brands. But when I submit for a policy that is mandatory, right? Suddenly, eh, why I don't have choice? <laughs> then, oh, only yes. then, then some only suddenly becomes like, eh, hey, this is not exactly fair lah, for consumers. And because the amount is not going to be so big, like a few thousand, right? It's going to be like a few hundred for a year. Therefore, it's always like negligible. And a lot of people like to, when you have a lot, right? Then suddenly, hey, <laughs> like if I got a few, then suddenly that few add up together. And let's say that one property, I can save 50%, uh, a lot of money there. <laughs> so, no, no, so, so I think it, it links back to the, uh, the, the, I think the few hundred I'm talking about is, uh, mm. is you know, the, the uh, some issue of uh, 500,000, 600,000. I'm talking about average uh, yeah, yeah. house. Yeah. Uh, mm. But you're, if you're living in, Imagine if I'm living in a bigger house. Mm. So the sum you should that if you say it could be up to a thousand, two thousand, yeah. depending on yeah. some insurance. Yeah. 
So so it's not necessarily a few bucks. It's the it's a matter of I think the you know you you know what you're buying. Yep. And in fact you got wider coverage, that's the second thing. Mm. And you got cheaper rate. Mm. My my personal favorite is the tenant. Uh, the tenancy portion of things. That's my favorite of all. Uh. So if I want to buy, uh, I'm going to look into those like landlord portions. Like if my, if my, the tenant are low, uh, then also I get to cover and things like that. So if malicious damage also can, wow, this is really peace of mind of a home in, investment. So, and I think, um, will there be any um, future plans from your team? Like future products and things like that? Uh, future plan on my team. I think uh, you know, our, our, we want to be a, a lifetime insurance that everyone loves. Uh. So we'll continue to develop those uh, lifestyle products. Uh, mm. uh, you know, uh, buy size product, and also you know, one of our key, our uh, very important pillar will be our health pillar. So mm. that's that's what we want to go 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 to. Uh. Of course, uh, for the other pillar like SME, uh, not forgetting the SME is quite important for us. Mm. So, so there are, there are three pillars we are actually focusing on. Uh, I mentioned the health pillar, lifestyle, and so SMB. So the product will, will, will actually we have uh, uh, will be um, you know from this pillar right, we will, will develop the product that actually suit this uh, uh pillar to support the other pillar. That's so cool. I shall look forward because I also hope that I will be part of the SME like now I'll be like freelancer a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. freelancer yes you, yeah, we, we come up something for freelancer oh cool cool so I will find out more <laughs> after the session and again thank you so much for your time Mr. Steven uh, I really Hello. appreciate it and uh, I think in conclusion it's really to make everyone more informed on what they are going to buy and what they are paying for la, general and uh, yep. if you guys want to get any more information about i will just put the link down below and you guys can really just find out more from there again thank you very much Mr. steven hey, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you see you Bye.